I do apologize. Am I disturbing you? No, please. Do come in, Mrs. My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. Oh, I didn't have the pleasure to... Uh, I am Dr. John Watson. Could we provide you with any assistance? Oh, she is not the concern, Watson. I'm... <laughs> then, what is this about? Oh, that child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold. And he is upset. What happened to him? Little Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, boy, come in. Warm yourself by the fire. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Mr. Bouvier? Well, I... It is not as though we are disturbing you-know-who. Are we? I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. His illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Of course, I understand. How very sad. But there is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Most certainly. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. Very well, then. Thank you, miss.
Now tell me, boy, what brings you here? It's... it's my father, sir. He's missing. I... I don't know what to do. What's his name? George Hurst, sir. Missing, eh? And what do the police say? The police? They don't believe... Obviously. Your clothes are well mended and you can read. Your parents may be poor, but you are loved. Yeah, well, it's just the two of us now. My mother died when I was a little one. And that's just one more reason for not leaving you. Your father doesn't seem the irresponsible type. He's very good to you. Well, that's right. But he has no fixed work, so he often takes odd jobs for the day. Because that's all he can find. Only this time, he didn't come home. And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job. But this time, he was acting a bit strange and angry. Strange? In what way? He said to me, Son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I can look after myself. What do you mean, sir? Nothing. I was digressing. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. 12 Dorset Street. The first floor. Door E. It's in Whitechapel, sir. But I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. We need to help Tom find his father, Holmes. We need to help Tom find his father, Holmes. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. My archive. I can always consult. Watson documents our adventures in here. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed.
These streets are too narrow for the cab. I'll have to walk. I don't feel thirsty right now. Dorset Street. This is our home, Mr. Holmes. Please, sir, find my father. Huh. So that's why you came to see me. Tom probably reads at night. A collection of worn-out and second-hand books. George Hurst was providing his son with the best education that he could afford. Father bought all those books for me. He didn't tell me. Food's running low. It's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance. Well, I can see the preparations for peasant soup, a clever concoction for somebody with apparently no culinary skills. My mother, sir, she died when I was very young. My father told me what she was like, but that's all I have. I'm sorry, Tom. My mother left me when I was very young, too. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance.
too dark. I can't see anything. Just some old things. A leather satchel, what's in it? You'll find my father soon. I don't feel thirsty right now. There's nobody at home. I'm not expecting anyone. I'm not expecting anyone. I'm not expecting anyone. You'll find my father soon. Old clothes. Soiled and worn. The old Tabard pub, North Street. The roof leaks all the time. Father used to fix it.
I don't feel thirsty right now. Please, sir. The Old Tabard Pub, North Street. The Old Tabard Pub, North Street. The Old Tabard Pub. Glue. Probably taken from a wall. Day, Mr. Holmes. Well, if it isn't young Wiggins. And I see you found yourself a job. If you can call it that. I hate it. But if, if you've got any proper work for me. I just might be in need of your assistance later. Wait here.
I need to earwig to find out who is offering this special... in the special jobs. He never drinks alcohol. <laughs> the child labour law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. Equality for the working class. I'm glad I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself. Or to Watson. The man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. So, the man I'm looking for has whiskers and never drinks alcohol. Dump the bosses off your backs. It's not him. The longer the picket line, the shorter the strike! This must be the man that I'm looking for. Interesting. A missing person. I should find out more.
Bosses beware. When we're screwed, we multiply. You see that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. All right, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> 